it snow, let it snow, let it snow. doing vlogmas this year I've done it in the past but again like I said I didn't do it daily and I kind of just put it into more like weekly style vlogs so I've never officially done vlogmas so I am so so excited this morning I woke up and I had some coffee with Noah we also made some biscuits they were missing chocolate fun fact about my family is that we do a tradition every Christmas and Thanksgiving called chocolate and biscuits it's basically like a chocolate gravy and I guess it's like a southern thing I've never heard of anyone else doing it ever but I looked up on Google chocolate and biscuits and there's like lots of recipes for like chocolate gravy which is kind of the same thing that we do just the smell of those style of biscuits reminds me of chocolate and biscuits and we didn't have chocolate because Noah's not a fan but we're gonna go get some Christmas decorations we're gonna go to Target we're gonna get a Christmas tree we're gonna do a lots of fun stuff come in and then we're gonna also go to Bath and Body Works because they have eight dollar candles right now and that's like the best deal ever even though I just got four candles literally last week everyone's like running over there my mom already went my brother's on his way I'm going we're gonna get some candles and Christmas decor and then I'm gonna decorate my house and watch Christmas movies yay <sighs> yay all right let's go so apparently Noah fixed my headlight this morning I want to go see it my car is so old and it has like fogginess in the lights this is the before and then he did this one so this is the after that doesn't look bad at all that's a huge difference babe wait can you do this one too yeah i just wanted to see the difference. how'd you do that okay. i thought that it was like on the inside that's what i should gift myself this year is like a, a new car yeah thank you babe seriously thank you did you do yours too no, I just all right Let's go Christmas shopping.
took way longer than I thought. We ended up just picking up my Christmas tree, which is my first Christmas tree ever. So excited, we got a really good deal on it. That's definitely been a goal of mine for like the past two years to get my first ever Christmas tree. And then we ended up going to Target and Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works was a crazy show. The candles today were only like $8.95, so there was a line outside the building. Like it was too busy for me so noah ended up getting some for his co-workers i ended up going to bath and body works before that i didn't go and get some today because i just can't deal with the crowds it actually gives me like really bad anxiety <laughs> it was in line i was like waiting outside the ones that i got last week sweater weather so pretty this is my favorite look wise and smell wise and they make it with essential oils now which is like just so good fresh balsam so this one smells like a christmas tree the tops there's like a star and then like a little christmas tree and then the next one that i got was oh this one's noah's he really liked this one and that one is mahogany teakwood so this is the one that like everyone likes i'm pretty sure it's like their most popular it smells like Abercrombie winter. It's really pretty with all the white Christmas trees. And then I went to um, Target. So I'm going to show you guys what I got from Target. I always end up getting gift wrapping paper, which now that I think about it, I forgot the little to and from stickers. I have to pick up some of those because I'm pretty sure I don't have any left over from last year. So this year I got this one. So this one's really pretty because it looks like little like trailers. I don't know if you can even see that it's really pretty i got this one too this one's really pretty so this one has a like pickup truck with a christmas tree in the back and a little santa and it says support your local elves which i thought was even cuter and then the last one that i got was this snowman this one is really pretty the little gold sparkly details this tree skirt so this is going to go underneath my tree there's like little sparkles on it too it's also reversible so it has like a different color on the other side that i thought was cute maybe i could do that next year and then i ended up picking up two stockings one for me and one for noah and they have these little like puff balls on them i just thought they were really cute I ended up getting a bow rather than a star because i don't know i just feel like bows look so much cuter i don't know lights for my patio hopefully i can get those up and figure it out by myself <laughs> lights for the christmas trees ornaments almost like a rose gold and some silver pops of colors i have all my favorite christmas movies except this one so i just thought i'd snag it and pick it up some gift wrap tape of course and this in the little dollar section but it was three dollars <laughs> that dollar section now has definitely turned into a three and five and ten dollar section rarely is there ever anything with one dollar now it came with this little like mitt for baking and then this towel this one says i just want to watch christmas movies and bake stuff and it has like these little frilly balls so i look like a little grandma aka mrs claus and i'm totally fine with that my stocking little hangers so they're gonna just hang like this i just thought they were really cute i'm gonna get out all the rest of my christmas decor and i have so much decorating to do noah ended up going home so i'm just gonna blast some christmas music or maybe i should put on a christmas story and decorate because hell it's freaking christmas time <laughs> Rainfall in Arizona Got me feeling a little somber 1800 miles from home But it's alright No, no drink could fix this People are so persistent That's why I'm staying in tonight I need a little getaway time with you We could go I just miss you and how we vibe Let me call you in the morning I'll tell you how I've been Then you tell me everything you never said to me Late night thinking of you Your body 
Get a weird time with you We could always run through I just miss you And how we vibe Let me call you in the morning I'll tell you how I've been Then you tell me everything You never said to me Late night thinking of decorating my apartment. It is 7 p.m. I have to teach at 7.40, so I want to give you guys a quick little updated Christmas apartment tour. I feel so cozy right now. I feel so Christmassy. Like, I feel officially like it's Christmas time. Once my stuff is out, just get all these, like, warm, really good feelings inside. I'm so happy right now. This is my first tree. I know that's, like, really weird, but I just feel so proud of it. I've always wanted to get a real Christmas tree since I moved into my first apartment two to three years ago, but I never could really afford it. So it is a bit pricey to get started with just because you have to buy all the, you know, essentials like the skirts, the ornaments, the bow or angel, the lights, the tree itself, but I'm like really happy with it. So I'm going to share with you guys like my updated apartment tour. Here's my toes. <laughs> um, this is what you see when you walk through the door. So you have my living room over here. You span over to my bedroom my island and then my kitchen is on your right so i'm going to start with the living room first because it's my favorite i put over here just like my gift wrapping station i got this you can put all of your gift wrapping paper and i put like my boxes and all my bags and stuff in there this is so good for storage space for christmas it doesn't look so cluttered like i really hated the look of like wrapping paper everywhere so I ended up getting this from Walmart and I'm pretty sure it was like only 10 or $15. And then over here I have this little station here where I have like my tape. My bows are in this drawer as well as like my labels. Um, I'm pretty sure there's like boxes in here and then gift wrapping paper is down here. Then you span over here. Here's the look from this wall. This is like my favorite look. Oh my god. The tree just makes it look so good. And then over here is this wall which I ended up putting my desk. I am going to put some lights out in my patio, but I have like a whole bunch and I tried to do it and it just wasn't working. So I have to ask Noah for help for that one, but that's definitely going to be a project for Christmas. This wallpaper I got from Wall Pops. This lamp over here I got from Walmart. This guy is actually from Pier 1. This is a Bath & Body Works candle that I had since last year. It was uh, fresh balsam and it smells like Christmas trees. And then this little candle holder is also from Bath & Body Works. And then for my oil, I have out peppermint because Christmas. The desk itself is from Ikea. Chair is from office max i have my book that i'm reading out right here this is my schedule for q kids which i just leave up here um, my computer and my phone is over there this is like one of my favorite pieces that my mom got me a few years back but this is the polar express round trip golden ticket i really really love this piece i have my little girl boss name tag that i got from tj maxx and then over here i have my pink sea salt lamp my rock that my brother got for me as well as this i'm pretty sure i got this from kirkland's that's my desk area and then spanning over to my christmas tree i already told you guys like where i got everything on the christmas tree it's pretty much all target the one thing i do want to notice here is my little bell i ended up putting this on because you know in that movie it's a wonderful life she says every time a bell rings an angel gets its wings and i just thought it was cute and then you can also look at it as like the polar express bell it could be santa's bell but i don't know i just think a bell is like very christmasy but the tree itself turned out way better than i thought and way better than i could have ever expected it looks really good so as for the fireplace i got this from 
Bed Bath & Beyond. I told you guys where I got my stockings. I ended up putting mahogany teakwood candle here. This piece is a little Santa guy. There's actually a candle in here and this will like illuminate when you light it, but I never really light it. This was actually my Papa D's. And then I have all my Christmas movies back here. These are my favorite movies ever. I think my favorite is either The Family Stone or The Grinch. Oh shoot, I like The Holiday too. Oh my god, there's so many. And I really, really like Polar Express. And Christmas Vacation is another really, really good one. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a candle holder, but I put my chapstick because I was like, it looks weird with just like a hole, so I don't know. And then I put Sweater Weather right there. And then this piece, this is my favorite. This actually lights up. I'm pretty sure you have to put batteries in it. Um, but it lights up, and this was from Kirkland's. My mom got this for me last year. Anything with trucks, I don't know, like a red truck with like a Christmas tree or like a wreath. It just is so homey and Christmassy. There's like a nice pop of color now on my couch. So I'm going to head over to my bedroom. So putting this wreath that I got, I'm pretty sure from the dollar store. Um, and then I just put these little lights here. These are battery operated so I can just switch them on and off. I just thought that was kind of cute. As for this wall, I just put these two pieces up. I got these from the dollar store a couple years back and that's pretty much it i had to put that tree right here and then move my mirror over just a little bit and then you have this hallway here that leads to my bathroom here's my bathroom so i have all my stuff over here um something christmasy that i put is this frosted snow blossom lotion from bath and body works I put out the winter soap. As you can tell, I love winter. The smell is so good. This little like rag here, I don't know where I got this. I think I got this as a gift um, with my little Mars Boy speaker. So that is my bathroom. And then you go over here, it does like a huge circle. So there's all my recycling. And then I have this little like desk area. I haven't done much with it. I don't really know what to do with this space. And then I have a closet here on the right. So this is just, again, a storage space. And then I have my laundry area. And then you're back into my main area. I ended up putting the towel here that I got from Target. All my lemons I usually put in here. I put that red pot holder right here. This is my favorite candle I've ever seen at Bath & Body Works, and I had this last year. It has a Jeep and a Christmas tree, and again, something about that with the red, it just looks so good. I ended up putting my Keurig back out. I have my Christmas countdown. I actually grew up with this one, and my mom was gonna throw it away. I was like, don't throw it away, that's my childhood. Um, I have this like faux Christmas tree here that I got from Target. I put out Christmas morning soap. Again, I got this last year from Bath & Body Works. Another red towel, a little like snowflake sponge, and a candle. That is pretty much my Christmas apartment tour. I feel so good, like just look. How freaking Christmassy. It's just so homey. I love it so much. I do have to teach tonight, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. And I wanted to do something fun, like for like a daily thing to do on Vlogmas. And I was going to do an advent calendar, but I'm like, what's the point of that? Like, I'm just gonna eat sugar and it's kind of boring for you guys because you guys can't even taste it. So I decided to do a daily mantra. I think it'll be fun to read one of these every single Vlogmas and we can kind of share our answers if you guys are comfortable with that, and then I'll share mine as a comment as well. So basically, if you guys aren't familiar with this, I've mentioned this so many times in my videos, but it's just a daily mantra, and it has like a mantra, an explanation of the mantra, an affirmation, and then a question at the end that you can kind of reflect on. So today is day 335, so I'm gonna pop on over to day number 335. Things go gray when I forget to play. You are taking yourself too seriously. The situation you are in may require a little less constricted approach, meaning don't look at it as black and white. That's funny because my last video, I talked about black and white thinking. When you struggle to find meaning in a troubling situation, you are often looking at it from a one point of view. Instead of overthinking what happened or what will happen, play and you will watch this situation resolve itself. When you take your attention off what bothers you, the experience has time to heal. The world is full of opportunities for you to lighten up and be more lighthearted. Things will naturally fall into place when you play with the world. That actually does relate to something that I'm going through right now. And so the affirmation is, I play my way to happiness. I am connected to my joyful self and I bring more fun into everything I do. 
The situations that causes me most stress are healed by my loving attention to the lighthearted nature of life. I don't take myself so seriously and this lets the situation heal. And then the question if you guys want to answer um, if you're comfortable is how can I bring more fun into a troubling situation? So I will pop my comment down below if you guys want to check out my comment for the answer to that. Yeah, so this is the end of Vlogmas Day 1. You guys, this is so much fun already. Like, I am having a blast. I feel like Mrs. Claus. I am in such a chipper mood. I am, like, really happy. I don't know. I'm just, like, so excited to do Vlogmas. I feel like I'm going to connect with you guys a lot more, too. Like, seeing you guys every day. Kind of giving you guys, like, an in on how my life is and how I have, like, my Christmas traditions and all that. But I have to go and teach. So I'm going to go try to edit this vlog tonight. And then it should be up. I want to say every Every vlog I want to get up like technically at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day but if not it will be up by 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I don't know around the morning times so thank you guys so much for joining me on vlogmas day one if you guys have any video requests or things that you want me to talk about um, for vlogmas leave them down below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye guys